Okay, so let us explain another important concept, which is interfaces. So the interfaces are very similar to classes, but there are some differences there. So a dog class, like we have an animal class, and we have a dog class, which is extending the animal class. And uh, the animal class has a sleep method there. And the dog, since it's extending the animal class, also has the sleep method there. But the dog class is also implementing I talk interface and I eat interface. So there are two interfaces. So one class can extend one and only one class, but one class can implement multiple interfaces. So interfaces are similar to abstract classes. There are some differences there, but whatever methods there are, they are abstract. So all these methods, the talk method that comes from here and the eat method that comes from here, they have to be implemented in the dog class. So again, one class can, extend one and only one class, but one class can implement multiple interfaces. So let us code this one. Okay, so let us code the example that we did on the board. So we have an uh, animal class, right? An animal class, which can be abstract or can be a concrete class. And in the animal class, we had the sleep method, right? So public void sleep. And here, of course, the uh, what are we doing here? We're just printing here, sleeping. Okay, so now we can have a dog class, dog, which is, right, which is extending the animal class, the animal class. And now by default, the dog already, right? The dog already has the sleep method that is coming from the animal class. So also we're talking about interfaces, okay? What is an interface? I talk or talkable, right? Sometimes that's how they prefer to, to call this method. I talk, talkable, something like that. An interface is similar to a class. It's another structure which only has, only has public abstract talk method. So you can only have, and of course the return type void, you can only have, right? We can only have uh, abstract methods in an interface. We cannot have implemented like we have here in the, right? In the normal class or like we can have also in abstract classes. In abstract classes, we can have implemented methods or unimplemented methods. In the interface, we only can have unimplemented or abstract methods. So let me go to the dog class and let me say, you know what? This dog not only extends the animal class, but also implements, also implements the iTalk interface. So of course, if you're implementing the iTalk interface, you have to implement the methods that are there, right? That are unfinished. So you click here and you say, add unimplemented methods. This will help us create the talk method, which we are implementing or overriding from the interface. So let me just say here, since it's a dog, right? In this case, it will be barking. Okay, so now a dog extends an animal. So a dog is an animal and a dog is implementing the iTalk interface. So the dog is also, right, a talkable, let's say, right? A talkable. So let me create another interface, which I'll call I eat or eatable, right, as you wish. And in this interface, you're gonna have a method void eat. Even if, guys, even if we don't say public abstract, by default, it is public abstract. So that is the rule, right? That is the rule for the interfaces. The interfaces, if you have a method in the interface, that is by default public and that is by default abstract, okay? So in the dog, we can implement multiple interfaces. So we don't allow multiple inheritance in Java, so we cannot extend multiple classes, but we can implement multiple interfaces. So I talk and I eat. So if you are implementing the I eat, you definitely have to implement the eat method that is there. So the talk method is coming from the I talk and the eat method is coming from the I eat. Okay, so here I can say public, void, eat, and of course, I'm trying to make this example as simple as possible to fit in 10 minutes, but of course, we can go too much into details here. So 
the dog, right? They will eat in a different way. If we have a cat, they will eat in a different way. Eating as a dog, right? Eating as a dog. So now the difference between the most important difference between interfaces and classes is that you can implement multiple interfaces. Why? Because there are methods here which are not, right? Which are not implemented and you can get all these methods from there. And also another thing is that in a class, right? You can have a constructor. So we didn't talk about constructors here, but in a class you can have constructor, but in interface you cannot have constructors, okay? So now let me go to the barn again and let me have a barn class. And in the barn class, what are we gonna do? We're gonna create some animals there, some dogs there. So of course, as a homework for you guys is to create the, the, cat, the cat class, okay? Which will be implementing, right? Which will be extending from the animal and will be uh, implementing the talk and eat and maybe other interfaces that you wanna create. So let me have here a main method. And in the main method, I can have an animal, animal A1, and in the animal, I can create a dog, right? I can create a dog. So I can create a dog and store it as an animal. Why? Because of inheritance. Since a dog is an animal, that's why I can create a dog and I can store it as an animal, okay? And then what are the methods that we can access from here? Even though that's a dog, the only method that we can access is sleeping. Why? Because that's the only method that the animal class has, only sleep. That's why the dog has the sleep method because of the animal, okay? A dog actually can also talk and eat, but we cannot call these methods because an animal here, this variable here is of reference, right? The data type animal. So that's why we cannot, a1.talk is not possible. Even though that's a dog which is able to talk, a1.eat, uh, it's not possible, okay? So these two are not possible because they don't belong to the animal, right? Don't belong to the animal class. Now, of course, if, it, if we had a dog like this, we could do everything, right? Dog d1 is equal to new dog. Then, of course, we can make this dog d1.sleep. The dog can sleep. d1.talk. The dog can talk. And d1.eat. So a dog can sleep, can talk, can eat. But since it's an animal, right, we're talking about an animal. The animals can only sleep. We don't know what other things an animal can do. Now, since it's an interface here, right? Since animal is implementing the iTalk interface, then here we can say, you know what? I talk, I can, I cannot create an object from an interface. So I cannot say T1 is equal to new I talk. That's not possible because the, the interfaces, they don't have a constructor, first of all. And also since they're abstract, we cannot create objects of them, right? So not possible to create an, right? Uh, let me see T here, create an object of iTalk. But I can create an object of a dog and store it as an iTalk. So T1 equals to new dog. So what I'm doing here, uh, the same thing here, we are upcasting here, right? We're upcasting. We're upcasting here. The same thing here, we can create a dog and store it as an animal because animal is the parent of the dog. We can create a dog and store it as an iTalk. Why? Because iTalk is the parent of a dog. How do I know? Here. This is the parent of a dog. This is the parent of a dog. This is the parent of a dog. We are inheriting from the animal. We are inheriting from the talk. We are inheriting from the I eat. So that's why what are the methods that we can call here? Even though that's a dog, the only method that we can call here is talk method. The rest, we cannot call them because I talk only has the talk method. And the same logic for I eat. E1, we can create a dog. We can create a dog and we can store it, right? And we can store it as an, as an uh, I eat variable. So again, if you have an I eat, the only method that we can call it is, is the eat method. And of course here, right? We can have this variable here. You can downcast it to a dog. We can have this variable here, we can downcast the dog and then we can make it uh, talk and eat and sleep. But of course, that is the video in the inheritance, okay? So I hope that now the, okay, let me just debug this one. So create a dog. And then of course, since it's a dog, it can sleep, it can talk, it can eat. Good, create a dog and store it as an animal. The only thing that an animal can do it is to sleep. Now create a dog and store it as an I talk. 
The only thing that it can do, it is to talk. Create a dog and store it as an I eat. The only thing that it can do is eat, right? So I hope that the interface makes sense. The only difference, right, or one of the most important differences is that you can implement multiple interfaces. Okay, see you in class. Bye.